welcome back this video is going to be the shortest one yet it's only going to be on the admin stuff you need to do so you need to rename your files as described on the exam paper you need to export your document as a pdf and you need the authentication sheet this should be given to you by your teacher or the examiner that you have in the room on the day it's just a piece of paper you have to write in fill it in fill your de details in and that's it next we have naming files this is important and this is information that's actually on the exam paper this i screenshot it from an exam paper this is there it tells you exactly how to do it this is the information that you are um, that you're given on the exam paper imagine my name is ronald king boss right and my registration number is 909090 this is how i would label my booklet my document the, so that document that you've been working in this entire time this is how you would do it um, as a matter of fact leave it as lowercase it doesn't really matter that much if you put uppercase b for booklet or uppercase for your surname and last name i don't think that's going to be an issue this just auto capitalized for me but if you are worried about it do it exactly how they have it here which is lowercase b but again it shouldn't be an issue and finally we have the video name same thing we have file underscore registration number and here i've got file underscore my registration number is 909090 yours is going to be given to you on the day you should know it already uh, underscore again underscore here and i've got surname my surname is king boss obviously it's not but i'm just making that one up underscore again underscore again first letter of first name underscore r for me because my first name is ronald and that's it really Yep, let me go to the folder and actually show how to do this. This is the actual Word document I've been working in this entire time. So if I scroll through quickly, you'll see all the stuff I've done. I'm going to close this. I'm going to right click on this document. Make sure the document is closed. Make sure it's closed. Right click on it. Uh, you might not see these options. I'm using Windows 11. This is what you might see if you're on Windows 7, 8 or 10. You go to rename. And again, this should be booklet, B-O-O-K-L-E-T, underscore. My registration number is 909090, underscore. My surname is King Boss, K-I-N-G-B-O-S-S, -S, underscore. First letter of my first name, in this case, it's R. And that's it, I'm done. I press enter when I'm finished, and that's it, good to go. Now, you do exactly the same thing with the video. I'm going to drag this to one side. I'm going to right click on the video. So this is not an actual video. This is just a random video I found somewhere. Right click on it. Again, if you're on Windows 11, go to show more, uh, show more options. If you're on Windows 7, 8 or 10, this is what you should see. Go to rename and you're going to rename this one file, F-I-L-E underscore. Registration number for me again is going to be 909090 underscore. My uh, surname is K-I-N-G-B-O-S-S, -S, King Boss, underscore R. That's it. I press enter and I'm almost finished. Well, not finished just yet. Almost, almost finished. The next thing you should do is you open your Word document. Go into your Word document. You need to now export this as a PDF. A few ways we can do this. The easiest way I found, I think. You go to File. You go to uh, Export here. You go down to where it says create PDF slash XPS. You click on that and you choose where you want to save it. I'm going to save mine on desktop. Yeah, I'll leave it there for now because it's probably easier for me to find. And once you click publish, you can leave this one that says open file after publishing. Just click on publish. That, that just means to create the PDF file. Click on that. Mine's going to open up and I'm going to have a PDF file. Now, the benefits of this is you, I cannot easily edit a PDF file. This is the final, final thing which I'm going to submit to the examiner. This is what I'm going to leave on my PC for the teacher to copy off and send off to the examiner. This is the PDF that they need. This is my Word document here that I've converted to a PDF. I'm going to make sure I drag this into my folder. Now, you can choose to save this anywhere you want. I would highly, highly recommend that you save your Word document, which is that one at the top there, your PDF, and your video in the same location maybe on your pc is probably going to be documents save it in the same location so it's very very easy for whoever is copying the files off to locate where it is in any case thank you guys for watching hopefully this was useful and good luck